everybody! Welcome to Kira with IBS. I'm back at it in my orange turtleneck. I got this for five bucks a couple years ago and it's my favorite. All right, disclaimer, I will be talking about stool and having to poop in this video. So if you are lighthearted, you might want to skip out on this one. I am not a doctor. I am just a patient who has had IBS for 20 years. So today I'm going to be talking about another pain management technique that I use to help my IBS. This medication I'm going to be talking about is prescription and it was prescribed to me only two years ago and I don't know why they didn't prescribe it to me when I was a child. But here we go. I'm so happy I have this now. I'm going to be talking about hyoscyamine which the brand names are also Levson and Anaspez, New Lev, H, whatever. Hyoscyamine is what I call it. It is an antispasmodic. I want to start with what my main IBS symptoms are. There is a lot of cramping and pain. It can commonly feel like there is a knife stabbing right below my belly button or right to the left. These cramps can be so painful that I can't talk, I can't breathe and I get covered in sweat. It's not just a dull residual pain, it is, is a very, very intense pain. The way that my doctors always described it was, oh, well that your large intestine will squeeze like this, and when that's happening in these episodes, it'll, it'll squeeze like this. So all the muscles will squeeze like this in my large intestine, and if there is any sort of thing in between those two, it'll, it'll be pushing against the walls of my intestines and it'll hurt a lot. I use, I use this, this is an antispasmodic because it makes your muscles in your large intestines stop spasming. We could call that a muscle spasm. It'll relax it so that way the, the functioning, it can just start functioning normal again. I take 0.125 milligrams and I can take it up to four times a day by dissolving it under my tongue. So let me show you what it looks like. Looks like this and it just dissolves right under your tongue and it tastes like peppermint, which if you've watched my peppermint video, you know that peppermint is always nice. I find that it works really, really well. When I was a teacher, I'd be teaching in the classroom and suddenly I'd feel a little gurgle and then suddenly they would tense up to the point where I wanted to double over. And what I would do is I would go find my high hyoscyamine in my backpack and I'd put it in my mouth and 10th graders are really smart and observant, but like no one ever asked me. They were like, why are you putting drugs in your mouth? The side effects of hyoscyamine are that it gives me a dry mouth and that's really normal, but usually just after it dissolves, I'll sip on water. Now interactions, it does interact with alcohol. So please do not be drinking alcohol when you take hyoscyamine. You know, your doctor should probably just tell you all this. It is a prescription medication. So hopefully you've talked to the doctor or pharmacist. I love my antispasmodic. I carry it around with me, with my Pepto and with my peppermint oil. It works very, very well and it gets rid of the pain pretty quickly. Hopefully this can help you if you have IBS and if you have similar symptoms of intestinal cramping where you feel really sharp pains, hyoscyamine might be something that you can try for yourself. All right, thank you everybody for watching this video and if you liked it, please give it, please give it a like and a subscribe and comment below if you had this one prescribed to you or is there another one that you use that you prefer? Uh, just comment below. I, I really want to know what else is out there. All right, bye.